Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we finished up Dorothy's quest. It was, well, I think our first two-day quest, or... Well, no, I guess technically the uh, cold was the first one. But I think we also did that last episode, so what am I talking about? <laughs> I actually want to come in here and just to be sure I haven't shipped a couple things before. Um... Okay. So yesterday, when I had a little bit of time, I stopped by and I fished up some of these guys, the cherry salmon. Cherry salmon, a small freshwater fish, has made its way all over the world so very easy to find. I also received the Formula A. Fertilizer speeds the growth of crops by one day. You'll see the difference one day after use. And pudding, a wobbly, quivering dessert, has the smooth taste of eggs. I won't need these items to my knowledge. So I'm just going to ship them. Figure I'll ship all of these, everything up until the uh, ruby. So give me one moment. Okay. So... Today is a neat little day. I already know that I have, like, all of this taken care of, which is very nice. But if we go over to Blessia Island real quick... Okay, despite it not raining here, it is actually raining here. So today is the day when our first set of pineapples is done. I don't need energy, really. Wow, I somehow missed. But all the same, I I should probably ship those, right? That's something I should do, right? Tomatoes aren't quite done yet. My guess is the tomatoes will be done tomorrow, maybe the day after, but definitely by the day after. So, knock you down. So you don't get back up again, everything's going to keep you down. And that's what I wanted, so perfect. Um, all iron, huh? Let's swap over. It was a mistake. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. All right. Grab some of our Healy Heals. And eliminate this enemy before it becomes a nuisance. Um, yeah. I don't need all this energy. I'm never going to be using it. I'm not trying to grind up to 99 right now. It would take way too long with my current equipment anyway. So, I guess what I'm doing is I'm harvesting. It's almost summer anyway, so I can grow a lot of these things. So I should be using this field space for the much harder to get phantom crops. I don't remember how many that is, to be honest. So, let's go buy some seeds. Let's be smart about this as well. Four leaf clover. Alright, so there are four in total. Uh, let's see, 90 and 100 are the two big ones that I want to do. So I guess I'm buying these two right now. I'll do the others later. I mean,. It's a waste, though, and I hate wasting. I'll stick with these two. I will do those later on. I won't do the clover or the iron leaf. Because I don't really have open spots, and these are all renewable crops that I'll keep getting money off of, and I can use as gifts and whatnot. I'll wait on these since they're going to take so much less time anyway. 
I'll do them probably next season sometime. And while I'm here, I'm gonna buy one of these, since I haven't shown off the sleeping bags yet. Alright. Morning. Good morning, Douglas. Tomorrow's the eating contest. No one beats me when it comes to drinking, unless it's that girl with Juice Herman drinks. Okay. Like he said, it's the eating contest tomorrow, so it's uh, the time to fill our bellies. Oh, good morning. Tomorrow's the eating contest. Rosalind said her dad's looking forward to it. Rosalind, not Rosalind. I don't know. What? <laughs> tomorrow's the eating contest. If there's a drinking contest, I'm in. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, good morning. Tomorrow's the eating contest. I'm really worried that Herman's just gonna collapse one day. Well, Herman is certainly in another league than the rest of us when it comes to food. Yeah, yeah, he is. And apparently, it's genetic. Wild. Oh, I was wait, do I have a char on me? I'll check that in a minute. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. The eating contest is tomorrow. Speed eating isn't really good for your body, so I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best thing for your health, I guess. It really looks like a lot of fun, though. Okay, uh, do I not have any on me? I do not. I'll have to harvest... Oh, why would I have the seeds on me? <laughs> oh, well. If you ever give it a rest, tomorrow's the eating contest. Only you humans could have thought up of such a pointless competition. Morning. Tomorrow's the eating contest. If one of the prizes is a sword, make sure you win. Okay. That's all you care about. Blades. Weapons. Bladed weapons. Now, I didn't check... I do not. I'll have to fish one up while I'm there. Whoops. That backfired. Okay, green crystal right here. And fire flower right here. Oh. Level up. Or skill up, rather. But you know what I mean. Finally, HR. Let's see if I can get a second one, that way I have one for tomorrow. I give up for now. Grab Rosalind's gift and get going. Good afternoon. Good day, Kyle. Good day, Cecilia. Tomorrow's the eating contest. Herman's looking forward to it. I bet he is. <laughs> Here's a ruby! Thank you. Hey, Rosalind. Hello. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Kyle. How's life at the farm? Tomorrow's the eating contest. It's a big festival about food. My father's getting so excited, I bet he's having trouble sleeping. Well, here's a four-leaf clover. Good afternoon. Ah, good day. Tom tomorrow is the day I've been waiting, waiting for. The eating contest. You should enter your own best dish and take part in the competition. Everyone who participates will receive a fabulous prize. And if you win, everyone in town will like you even more, including whichever fine lady you've got your eye on. <laughs> yep, so uh, that's kind of saying that if you do well at festivals, you do well with people. So, do well at festivals. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, I'm Max. Tomorrow's the eating contest that my father organize organized. You've got to enter this one. Are you going to participate, Max? Who, me? Don't be absurd. Do I look like I'd stuff my face for cheap amusement? Yeah, I mean, no, you don't, actually. Though, apparently it's genetic, so be careful in the coming years. Good ah. afternoon. Uh, good day. Tomorrow's the eating contest. Sounds like something Herman would think up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Hello there! Hello, 
Kyle! Tomorrow's the eating contest! Since I'm entering in it, you're gonna have a hard time winning, but it might be fun for you to try! I'll decimate you. Hiya. Hello, Kyle. Tomorrow's the eating contest. Make sure you be careful, you don't you? <laughs> I am a small child. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just not... Like, her voice is not correct. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, hello, Kyle. It's the eating contest tomorrow. If you're gonna take part, try and pace yourself. We don't want anyone choking in the race to win. I mean, conversely, uh, all my competition. Please. <laughs> okay, so before we head back down there, I want to head up to Trieste. Nope. How about here? Nope. And maybe Machina? Nope. Yeah, I don't... I have no idea where Yue is on rainy days. Because what I saw was that she's supposedly hanging out at Herman's or at uh, Trieste Forest. Or at least that's what I saw on one of the days where it was raining, but I just have no idea where she hangs out. Like, was she here and I missed her? Maybe? She's here. Okay. Hello. Hello, Kyle. It's a nice day today, isn't it? Even though it's raining. Eh, yeah, tomorrow's the eating contest. Don't choke on anything. I mean... I think it's a nice day, but most other people don't. You can't have my aqua marine. Is that for me? Thanks. Okay. I believe we've spoken with everyone. There's still a few more gifts I have to give, such as the char for Dorothy. That's for me, I really, really like Char. Kyle, I was waiting for you. What do you need today? I need to prepare some medicine, so I need some wild herbs. You want me to go collect them? But the posting said, It's an herb that's hard to spot, so it'd be difficult for you, Kyle. I'll go and get it, but could you go watch over the cl clinic while I'm gone? Ray and Dorothy are also here, but I'd feel better if I knew you were keeping an eye on things. I don't think I'm any more responsible than Ray, but it makes sense now. But if it makes Natalie feel better, will you watch over the place for me? Well, okay, but what should I do if a patient comes? I won't be long, so you shouldn't have to worry, but if a patient comes, just tell them to wait. She's gone. I wish she at least told me where she was going. Anyway, what am I going to do if someone w with an emergency comes? Oh, Dorothy is here, so maybe it'll be okay. No way. I'm just an apprentice nurse, and nurse can't do a medical examination anyway. Really? Yes, yeah, so, um, if something happens... If something happens, I should go get Dr. Natalie? And something happens. Ah, ah, my stomach hurts! Cammy, are you okay? Oh, it hurts. Hey, where's the doctor? Uh, she's out at the moment. What? But my stomach hurts! Wah! Ah! Uh, wait just a minute. I'll go get her right now. Okay. I had better find the doctor while the clinic is still open, or this will be serious. Gotta hurry. My stomach hurts! Ouch! Hi. I feel like you should be more concerned about your sister, but it's, it's fine. This is fine. Well, while I'm in the area, I'm going to be stopping here to give a gift because, you know, she's a child. She'll be fine. It's it's just growing pains, probably. Maybe. Hi there. It's the heating co contest tomorrow. Herman was the champion for so many years that he had to retire to give other people a shot. Ha. <laughs> uh, get wrecked. Hi there. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Alicia. Tomorrow's the eating contest. It's Herman's day to truly shine. I don't know if I read that before, so I needed to be sure. 
Now that I think about it, I don't remember seeing Roy today. Eh, I'll figure that out later. If we make our way uptown, walk real fast, we'll find Natalie all the way over here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I believe it's the one all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, is it an emergency? Yes, Cammy says her stomach hurts. Oh dear, that's awful. Let's hurry back. Okay. Too bad it won't take me with you. Fine, I'll walk. Hey, Bessie. I need the grapes. You got any grapes? All the way back here. What can I do for you today? Oh. Okay, Cammy, let's see how you're doing. Does it hurt here? No, that feels okay. How about here? How's oh, it hurts? Okay, you're fine. You just ate too much. You'll feel better in a little while. Really? Oh, good. I was so worried since it hurts so much. What did you eat? Popcorn, pancakes, and some apple juice with steamed jelly roll cake. No wonder. Of course your stomach will hurt after picking out like that. Why did you eat so much? I had a fight with Roy, and I got so mad I just ate everything. Binge eating. You're about ten two years too young for that sort of thing. Really? Yes, no more overeating, okay? Okay, thank you, doctor. My stomach feels better now, so I'm going back home. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Great job once again, Natalie. Well, it was an easy diagnosis. The problem usually is something simple. Huh. Live and learn. Sorry to take so much of your time, but thanks to you I found the herbs I needed. Thank you. Here's a token of my appreciation. 300G. Thank you very much. By the way, Natalie, how can you go to a place with so many monsters? Oh, my scalpel has some very serious enchantments on it. No monster would dare mess with me. Oh, really? Yes, it's incredibly sharp. You can tell when that Tawny has made it. It's so rare, even the royal doctors in Norad are envious of it. Well, that's really something. I think she spends a little too much time with swords, but she certainly is talented. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help today. I wouldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have, or something, I don't know. Kyle, you're always so helpful when I need something. Next time you have a bad injury, Kyle, I'll fix you up for free, okay? Sounds good. I'll try to be careful not to get hurt in the first place, though. And that was a lie! I don't know who to help! Sure. This should be simple. As, you know, the person who gave it. Haha, <laughs> I got him. Kyle, you made it. I've been waiting for you. I have another favor for you. I want you to ask Barrett who he likes. Look, even if I go ask him, I don't think he'll tell me anything. Just tell him straight. Talk to him man to man and you'll be fine. Right. Okay, now, this is the important part. I need you to get him to say that he likes Dorothy. How am I supposed to do that? Well, if he already likes her, it shouldn't be a problem. But I honestly don't have a clue what he thinks at all. Okay, I'll go talk to him, and I'll ask him what he likes. But I'm not going to try to change his mind, alright? Fine, I guess. Just do your best. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. Before we head over there... Hey there! It's a eating contest tomorrow. I'm going to try and compete, even though my mom is against it. <laughs> You're going to try to eat, but... Don't you know they don't have swords in that competition? What kind of loser would try to eat anything but a sword? What do you want? Oh, it's nothing, really. Just... If it's nothing, then why are you bothering me? No, I, um... Don't you think we could have an honest conversation now, man-to-man? -man? Is there something you need to say? Um, well, I was just wondering if there was, uh... Anyone that you liked. What? Why do you care who I like? <laughs> why? Um... No reason. I guess I don't care, really. You're weird. <laughs> I don't feel like talking about that with you. Not right now, at least. Right. 
If you don't need anything else, you can go now. Well, did you talk to Barrett? Yes. And who does he like? Is it Dorothy? He wouldn't say. I see, so you're saying there's a chance. At least she can look on the bright side of things. Thanks, Cal. Here's the reward I promised. 250 G this time. It's going up. This time I'll throw in 100 pieces of wood as a special thanks. And that's a great thing. According to my reading, wood is be going to be very important for you. You think so? I know so. If I need anything else, I'll let you know. She is absolutely correct. We don't even know why yet. New quest! Oh, you're here, Kyle. What did you want to see me about? I want to become a doctor when I'm older, but I'm thinking I should study first aid too. Any injuries incurred in battles with monsters would serve as good experience for me. So, you want me to get injured on purpose? Oh no, you don't have to get yourself injured, I'd just like to see a real battle for myself. Please, Cal, you're the only one I can ask to do this. Okay. Thanks, how about taking on a pom pom and Transforce Spring Clearing? The monsters that appear at any given place change when it's nighttime. Pom pom appear during the day, around 6 o'clock at night, and different. After 6 o'clock at night, different monsters will appear instead. Got it. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright, let's go! Monsters are crawling all over up ahead. I've never gone there myself before. Promise me you'll be careful, okay? Trias Forest Spring Clearing is that up ahead. Alright, call me Johnny Appleseed because I'm chopping down this apple tree. Wait. Woo, looks like he managed to send it back to the Forest of Beginnings. You're so strong, Kyle. I had no idea. No, it's nothing, really. Are you hurt? Nah, that just took a little energy. It's nothing serious. Let me take a look. Hmm, let's see. Done. Yeah. So, if you want to exploit this, you can. You just have to do this when you're low on health and energy and then kill the pom pom. I don't really care about this currently, but it's really good to know. Thanks, Ray. It looks like you're going to be a great doctor. You can even heal energy, not just health. Wait, are you magic? So the way I'm understanding this is that Natalie, Miss, doesn't believe anything non-scientific, got a psychic and a magic healer as kids. And honestly, that's pretty neat. I still have a lot to learn. In fact, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to heal you just now, or if... Or if... Oh, um, nothing. Nothing could have gone wrong, don't worry about it. <laughs> but still, that was good practice for me. Here, take 500G as your payment. Thank you. I need to keep practicing so I become a great doctor. Thank you for your help today. And we're done! I'm having trouble deciding. Okay. I checked my list. And one of the quests requires a fish that I can get easy. And I do get easy. A lot. It's not the common fish, but it's just the uncommon one. It is the char. So let's see about getting ourselves another char. If I can get one immediately, then I can go for a second one as well. That would be very nice. Ah yes, very nice. Wow, okay, that was not one of the choices. There's one char. Let's see if I'm gonna have time to do this or not. There we go. Okay, more monster money. Okay, well, this time it's a fish, not a monster I need. 
Anyway, stop around here first. UA, I saw your request on the bulletin board. I've been waiting, Kyle. Sorry to ask you so suddenly, but I want you to catch me a fish. The fish around this town have a reputation for being delicious. People in other towns can't seem to get enough of them. So, Kyle, I want you to catch a char for me. You should be able to fish them on Blessy Island. Be careful out there. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, there she is. Oak. Okay. Well, my game lagged at a bad time! Well, it's a good thing I fished too. Because I needed them. Ah, oh, you caught one. I don't mind eating fish, but I'm just no good at catching them. You've been- you've really helped me out, Kyle. Here you go, then. A little thank you from me. An apple pie. Aw, oh, that's sweet. I made this myself. Give it a try. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be calling on you again. Or actually, I should be able to talk to her. The fish looks so delicious. Awesome. I need someone to stay over. Things have been getting really tough lately. From Cecilia. I have kind of a difficult task. Do you think you're up for it? Well, let's hear what it is. Uh, well, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind spending the night at my house. What? Well, I, I don't know about that. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, as a guess. Uh, you know, since it's an inn. Oh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> you had me confused for a second there. We haven't had very many guests this month, and he again seems a little worried. Since I'm watching there, I figured I should try and help bring in business any way I can. No problem. Thank you, Cal. I'll be in a real... It'll be a real big help. Whenever you want to stay, just talk to Egan. I'm going to try to do something before we do this, so give me just a moment. Brushy, 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 brushy. You will give me an egg. Oh. Off to adventure. Rock number one is an emerald. Rock number two is the aquamarine I wanted. Rock number three, another aquamarine. Perfect, I actually needed two in a row. And I got shot. So I'm not sure what the closing time is for the yin right off the top of my head. And I don't care enough to look it up. I'm sure I have it written down somewhere, and if I really needed to, I could always, you know, use the internet. But we're going to end our day a little bit early today. We're going to go talk to Egan, and we're going to stay the night. Ah, Kyle, welcome. Hi, are there any rooms open today? Huh? Uh, yes, we have rooms available, but... Okay, then I'd like to stay tonight. How much will it be? It's 100G, but... Kyle, don't you have your own house? 100 G to stay the night? Like, am I sleeping in a hole in the ground? Why is it that cheap? Yeah, well, Cecilia asked me to do her favor. Ah, that makes sense. That sounds like something she would do. You're always taking such good care of her, so she said she wanted to help, help try and get you some business, even if it's just for a night. Taking care of her, really. She came all the way from Cardi to stay here and help me out. If anyone's being taken care of, it's me. My son Jake might not show it, but deep down, he's really happy as Cece's here, too. My old friend Tabitha lives in Cardia. She's the one who recommended this place to Cece. Ah, really? She's a really special girl. She is, isn't she? So, can I stay here tonight? Sure. I would hate to refuse such a kind gesture. It'll be 100G. Do 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 ba bum 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 ah, I feel so refreshed. Okay, time to get to work again. And it's the festival day and Egan isn't here. Um See upstairs? Probably no? No, he's already outside with the festivities at six in the frickin' morning! <laughs> Uh, all right, I don't remember where everyone's gonna be, so I'll do my best. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Ray. Today's the heating contest. What's your favorite thing to eat? Hey, Rosalind. Good morning, Kyle. How's life at the farm? Today's the heating contest. I think this is the day of the year that my father looks forward to the most. He loves to see other people get as excited about food as he does. Hey, Cece. 
Thanks for helping out like that, Kyle. Egan was so happy. You really are a nice guy, Kyle. It's great knowing someone like you. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Cecilia. Today's the eating cost contest. Herman's been looking forward to it all year. I think that was the end of the quest? Um, maybe? I, I don't think I need to talk to Egan, but I'll confirm. <laughs> Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Alicia. So today's the eating contest. Are you gonna enter, Kyle? Yes, I actually am, but I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, because it's a festival today is the only reason I didn't save before I went to bed last night. Anytime it's a rainy day, Alicia will not tell you the future because she's just too lazy to work on, la on rainy days, lazy days, whatever they are. <laughs> but um, because of that, I've been... I've been thoroughly ruined by rainy days. Anytime it's a rainy day, I save before I go to bed because sometimes it's just a freaking hurricane. And the only thing you can do is stay up all night. You have to either pass out from exhaustion to wake up at the uh, hospital, or the clinic rather, or you just either camp out or pass out at 5.59 in the morning or whatever. I think, I think camping out is actually the way you should go about it because otherwise you risk being ruined. Having all your crops destroyed. There's something special. There's a reason I'm really bitter about that, and I'll get to that later in the game, but know that I'm a very bitter person. Good morning, Mana. Today's the eating contest. You gonna enter? Yeah. So while I'm entering the contest, you eat this entire pink turnip right in front of me. It'll inspire me or something, I don't know. <laughs> I love these. Morning. Good morning, Kyle! Today's the eating contest! I'm planning on entering it myself! Morning. Good morning, kid. Good morning, Douglas. Today's the eating contest. You gonna enter, Kyle? I'm not gonna go easy on ya. What's the difference between Barrett and Douglas, you say? Uh... I I, 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 I I give more respect on Barrett's name. That's the difference. <laughs> oh, oh, morning. Today's the eating contest, Kyle. I'd like to enter it myself. Mom tells me I'd only end up uh, with a sore stomach. She's right. More like a sword stomach. Uh, good morning, Kyle. Today's the eating contest. Kyle, you should try it. It's part of becoming a man. I don't see what else to do with becoming a man. Well, while I'm here... Take the strawberry. Yay! I love this. Okay, all the way to the end. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Today is the eating contest. Are you a fast eater, Kyle? I will see in a minute. I have no idea where everyone else is. I, so in the clinic is normally where Natalia, Natalia? Natalie? Yeah. My brain's shutting off. <laughs> I, I know where everyone is, probably. There we go, Tanya. Good morning, Kyle. Ah, festivals, festivals. I think it's about time we started a sword festival, don't you? That would be way more exciting. I'm worried about you. Morning. Oh, good morning. I'm Max. Today's the eating contest. You've got to enter this one. Father's hungry to see some worthy competitors. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Today's the eating contest. You're competing, of course, right, Kyle? Huh? Why, of course? Mm, don't feel like competing? It'd be really exciting to watch you win. That's fair. And there is that kind of thing where you get satisfaction out of seeing people you know eat where you know you can't eat this yourself because you would die. But this person has a bottomless stomach and they can eat that. That's kind of satisfying in its own little way. And always ends up making me hungry. <laughs> Don't you ever give it a rest. The eating contest is today. What a joke. Sounds exactly like the kind of competition a human would think up. I said the same thing yesterday. Me, 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 me. Hi, uh, Kyle. Good morning. Uh, the eating contest. Are you going to take part, Kyle? 
warden. Do you have anything to do? There's a festival today. I don't feel it. I don't like everyone getting all worked up about it. Ah, oh, come on, let him have fun. All right, and one final person, unless I'm forgetting someone. Good morning, Good morning Kyle. Um, listen, Kyle, I have to tell you, I uh, oh, never mind. Today's the eating contest. If you're gonna enter, I'll cheer you on. I haven't decided yet. I guess I don't see any reason not to. See if you can make it exciting, Kyle. Awkward Marine! <laughs> Alright. If I can give you one piece of advice on a day like today, don't neglect them. They deserve love. Aw, they like me. They're actually following me. No, don't. Don't, don't walk away from me. Okay, and now that they're following me, it means that... Haha! -ha! A large fl... Oops. <laughs> ah, in the few days where I didn't... I couldn't shave them, I went from small to large. I don't have medium. That's unfortunate. Okay, it's fine. Later in the game, I'll get medium... Whatever, it's fine. I'll just stick with large and get a bunch of money every few days. It's nice. But that also means... Milk. Yeah, it's a large milk. And that also, also means... You will give me an egg! It's a large egg. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Byron. You're who I was forgetting. Good morning, Kyle. It's the eating contest today. It's usually quite a spectacle. I do hope you'll come and enjoy yourself. Okay. Now, all the way down here. A large fleece. Fleece from a woolly can be used to make balls of yarn. Large milk. A large amount of milk taken from a buffamoo. High in calcium and other important nutrients. And a large egg. A large, age, uh, a large egg taken from a cockadoodle. Encased in a fragile white shell. Yeah. Okay. Before anything, I'd recommend you save. All festivals in this game are... Uh... I don't want to say RNG, but I also don't... So, I'm playing on emulator. So I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be with this controller. Um, but even when I'm not, I still find it really random when I actually succeed. Maybe it was just the 3DS I was using, or with its B button failing. Oh, Kyle, how about trying your hand in the eating contest? It's a chance to show off your gastronomical skills. And if you win, that special someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up. What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize. So how about it? Hey Kyle, you're thinking of competing too? Don't even bother! I'm competing so the outcome has already been decided! There's no way anyone can beat me! I'm the minister after all! Do the words divine blessing mean anything to you? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. If you look up competitive eating the dictionary, you'll find my picture right there. I bet your jaws will be so tired from all that boasting, you'll barely be able to take two bites! No, oh, don't worry about me. I can take about 20 bites in one second. My teeth are three times stronger than anyone else. There's no way anyone else is going to top me. I'm going to win, and that prize is as good as mana's. No amount of divine intervention is going to help you, Gordon. <laughs> but are you competing too, Kyle? I like your spunk, kid, but I'm not going to go easy on you. Ah... Uh. I mean, I suppose. Now that's what I'm talking about, Kyle! Okay, and now for the rules! When I say start, press the A button rapidly as you can until I say stop! It's A, not B. Okay. Each time you press the A button, you'll take a bite! The more bites you take, the more you'll eat, and so the person with the most bites takes the prize! Good luck! Do you need to hear the rules again? Uh, no, let's go. Okay, let's get this year's eating contest underway! Everyone start your gastronomical engines! On your marks, get set, start! Stop! Let's go!
let's see, you took 34 bites! What a shame, Kyle! The grand prize goes to Gordon! Congratulations, Gordon! Honorable mention goes to Kyle, participation prize goes to Douglas, which means I beat Douglas but lost to Gordon. For those with honorable mentions, I present you a fried veggies! You acquired the fried veggies. What is- Oh, what a shame, Douglas! You really let me win there, didn't you? I kind of was mix messing up that voice before. It's fine. Oh, I didn't know I'd have to eat to those cinnamon buns. I knew I should have eaten those cinnamon buns earlier today. You only won because I spoiled my appetite. You ate cinnamon buns? As always, you're only listening to what ha your appetite says. How about trying a little moderation? Yeah, so year one, Gordon will always win. Every year after that, I believe Douglas wins. Unless we win, which, uh, fun fact, we did. Thirty-five bites got us it. Amazing! You outweighed my wildest expectations. How did thirty-five win? What? What an un unprecedented accomplishment! The victor is Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle! I hereby confer upon you the title of Master of Speed Eating. Your accomplishment will be rewarded with the Formula A. Yeah, that thing we already had. So, the B prize might be better, but we want the relationship up. The results of the contest are Grand Prize Kyle, Honorable Mention Douglas, Consolation Prize Gordon. Which is weird that they would have swapped roles there? Because I'm pretty sure Gordon always wins you- I don't know, man. Uh, oh, you beat me! You taught me, Kyle. It's really miraculous you managed to out eat two champions like us! We'll definitely be keeping your eyes, our eyes on you in the future! <laughs> I may not have taken first place, but I got second. How do you like that, Gordon? Eh, it's- I went on e easy on the kid- <laughs> I went easy on the kid because it was his first time, but you really gave it your all! Good show! Sure, whatever. Kyle, even if you are the master of speed eating, don't even think of trying to marry my daughter. Uh, the implication there. Oh my. <laughs> oh god, that's awkward. Oh, well, it certainly was a contest to remember! The, ti the title of master of speed eating goes to you, Kyle. Congratulations! Good morning, Kyle! <laughs> I can't believe it, Kyle! Whoever said you can't judge a book by its cover was right! Morning. Morning, kid. Good morning, Douglas. Dang it, can't believe you beat me, Kyle. I'll remember this next year. Remember the shame. And now we're gonna go talk to everyone once again, because I believe we get a relationship up for talking to them afterwards. I believe that's how it works in this one. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Ray. Wow, Kyle, I can't believe you won the eating contest. Good morning, Kyle. How's life at the farm? Congratulations on winning the eating contest. I feel like I'm finally learning your true potential. Heck yeah. Hey, you a. Good morning. Wow, you did great, Kyle. I didn't expect that out of you. Good morning. Congratulations on your victory. I can't believe... I couldn't believe Herman's face. He was so happy for you. Good morning. Good morning, Alicia. Wow, you won the speed eating contest? I never would have foreseen that. Good morning, Mana. That was that was great, Kyle. I can't believe you won. I'm impressed. Yep, uh, apparently I'm a master of speed eating. Wink, wink. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow, I'm... Hum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm doing pretty good. And because of that, we should get everyone's next tier quest. Uh, Kyle, good morning. That was amazing, Kyle, really. Good morning. Nice job. Well, thank you. That was a waste of time. Well, hey, I got free food out of it. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not even nine in the morning and the festival's already over. <laughs> Wild. Good morning, Kyle. Oh, you won? Wow, I'm impressed. Morning. Oh, good morning, Kyle. You're really something, Kyle. You even beat Father Gordon and Mana's father. Morning. Wow, Kyle, you can do anything. I'm really impressed. Heck yeah. I'm the best around, and nothing's ever gonna get me down. Oh, morning. 
That was amazing, Kyle. I'm so jealous you got to compete. Morning. That was amazing, Kyle. Uh, I don't think there was anyone down here. Oh, yeah, Egan was. Never mind. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Wow, Kyle, I must say I'm impressed by how quickly you can eat. Alright, the last stop is Byron, over by my house. For some reason. It's weird. Morning. Hi, good morning, Kyle. Congratulations, a most impressive performance. The tournament was a big success again this year. All thanks to you, you have my gratitude. And that is the entirety of this festival. Yeah. There's not a lot to this. Um, so there are three spots that you can get for this. You can end up in first place like we did, by getting 35 bites and up, and by doing so, you will get yourself a Formula A. If you get second place like we did during the non-existent timeline that totally never happened, then you will get yourself fried eggs. Or fried veggies, sorry, not fried eggs. And if you take third place, it says you get a mental supplement, which is a really good item. But it's wrong. You get a piece of corn, which is a standard crop. It's really easy to get. Yeah. Not fantastic. The actual best one would probably be the Formula A, and that's why I went for that one. Fried veggies would be nice just for completing and getting a bit of money. But I don't really care about the money, and we're going to be making it anyway, so I might as well just get the formula. The secret formula. And now we keep on watering. As per usual on festival days, you can't do any questing, and you also can't take your animals out of the barn. Well, monsters, but you know what I mean. So we'll be on our own today, and that's fine. This won't be a super long day for you guys. I'm just going to go out of my way to do all my normal farming stuff and then probably fish up a few extra char. I can't really think of anything else. Actually, there is something I want to do for today that I realize that I haven't actually done. So... First things first. Let's get our normal stuff. That's junk. Scrap. Terrible. Awful. Yeah, of course I'd get nothing good. So, we've talked about a lot of things since we, you know, first came to this town. A lot of weird things. Have we ever interacted with these? I don't remember. I wonder what this is. This little stone statue is completely blocking off this path. Now, if we come down here... There's these fences. I can't go any further. We can't get through these either. If you've ever noticed on the map, there's little areas that obviously you should be able to traverse to. You just can't right now. And there is some story stuff blocking us. But I figure I'd show off these little spots because, you know, why not? It seems like fun. It's something that we can actually officially recognize and talk about. More fences. It looks like I can't go any further here. Which, really, it's not that good of a fence. We probably could get through if we try to force it, but... Uh, Kyle is a himbo. <clears throat> yep. I just realized what section I'm in. I need to be using the battle hammer. I want gold! I said gold! I'm going for the gold. And I'm not getting it. And that's rather unfortunate. Another one of these statues seen from the front this time. I wonder what this is. Yeah. Obviously just blocking off a path up there. This will eventually be gotten to. And technically, I could actually probably do this in about a week. Within the week. My best record for doing this is, I think, the 20 fourth or something I'm not I'm not sure exactly it might be like the 26th or something but just know that it's very possible to do it right around now 
you will miss out on a lot of content if you do. A lot of things that are available now will not be available later. So enjoy your life. Don't try to just skip through it. This game isn't something to be taken super seriously. It's meant to be enjoyed. So let's just do that. Let's have fun with it. And not have fun with these stupid rocks. Wow, my luck is terrible sometimes. There's another one here. No idea what that is still. If only I could read! There's some more things here in Machina Valley. It's all the same. All fences, all stone blocks. Worthy of note, but not much more. Or at least not right now. Oh. Wish this was Rune Factory 4 so I could just yeet that. Now, if I'm correct, the tomatoes will be done today. They are done today. Well, we got another skull out of that, so that's nice. Ah, char number one. Hey, Dorothy. I have a gift for you. Char! This is very nice. Thank you! Come again! And it's a normal day. It's no longer festival time. Which means, uh, no more festival music. Apple pie. A bounty of apples baked in a pie crust. A classic comforting dessert as well as Pink Melon, a pink melon brimming with cuteness. Its flavor is a favorite among younger girls. Yeah. I... This, I believe, is one of Tanya's favorite gifts, but I think she likes it just as much as she likes apples. And I don't remember who loves Pink Melon, if any. I will actually look at my list for that real quick. Yeah, as you'd expect, it is Ray. So, yeah. Yeah, so these are Tanya and Ray's loved gifts. I have eight pink melons. I'm not sure how many I need overall, and I don't think I need to give Ray any gifts. He already loves me quite a bit. But we're doing pretty well here now. We're at 30% of all items shipped. That's pretty silly. All right, beyond just that, we're at 1184 wood and 88 feed. That's, oh no, not 30% overall, 30% uh, crops, 15% overall. That's a bit better, but still kind of silly. And I still haven't shaped a neutralizer. Wild. Have I? Yeah, I have done a char. I know I shipped one previously. I haven't shipped one in this world. Aquamarine, a deep blue jewel. A deep blue jewel, reminiscent of the sea, represents equanimity. Boop. And we're done. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy Harvest moon. Today, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to fish up some more char. I'm going to spend my day doing that. And tomorrow, we're going to be doing even more questing. We're pretty close on UA. Like, she can't have that many more, like, quests for us. I think she has three more, if I'm remembering. Three or so. 
I actually I can look at my list. Give me one moment. So I'm mistaken. There's actually four. So we're not that far off though. We're already at seven in love with her. And I think you need to be at 10 love to do the final one. We're almost there. By the end of the year, which, you know, as things go on, we'll just kind of be doing less and less because we'll be running out of quests and things. So episodes will be more of like three days where I just kind of do like a, this is what happened and this was, it was said kind of thing. Maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, that's kind of the deal here. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm, I'm gonna make sure everyone's happy and try to get everyone to love me as fast as possible. I'm gonna try to collect every item I can and by the point where a bunch of story stuff happens for the game and things get serious, I'm just gonna have a good time. See you all next time and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Skill up, heck yeah. Bye. What? I guess I didn't end the episode yet. I w okay, I got four chars almost in a row, and I was like, wow, my luck's doing really good today. All of a sudden. I'm gonna go try to fish for a lamp squid. And guess what I got on my third cast? Um... We're, um, I, uh, oh, uh, see you all next time, I guess.